This is a quick demonstration of using the React version of the MongoPop client. Start by browsing to localhost 3000 and then React to get the React client. We're straight away told the IP address that the back end is running on. Then click on the Atlas link and we're going to add that to the IP whitelists. So click on the security tab and then IP whitelist, add IP address and paste in the IP address we've just received and hit confirm. It'll now take a few seconds to update the uh, IP address whitelist and supply it. Once that's done, go back to our clusters and click on the connect button and we're going to copy that connect string. So do that and then go back to our MongoPop client. Okay, so we've got that connect string, so we just paste that in here and then provide the password for our particular user so it's recognized that the user is Billy. And we're going to change the database name to production. I've scrolled down so I can set the collection name to people and now I'm going to attempt to count the documents. Oh, I've received an error and the reason for that is that the people uh, collection hasn't been created yet. So let's go and add some sample data to there. So I'm going to add 10,000 documents to the collection. We've received a success message that we've added them. So now I can try counting the documents again. So 10,000 documents confirming it. And now if I check this box, it's going to repeatedly uh, count the number of documents in the collection every five seconds. So let's add another 10,000 documents while we're playing around here. I'm going to sample the database. And now I can use that data to actually come up with a pattern that I want to match. So find all documents where the gender field is set to male. And for each of those, just add a comment in there and increment a counter. I'm going to just run it once. So I click on update people and it's going to update the people collection. And we're told just over 10,000 documents have been updated. And now finally, I stop the count from running in the background. 